Now, barring any universal changes in petroleum FOB prices, indications are that the pump retail prices of petrol, diesel and LPG will go up primarily due to further depreciation of the CD in the next retail pricing window beginning July 1, 2024. COPEC wants government to, among other things, do all it can to reduce taxes on LPG or to subsidize the price of LPG to promote and encourage its nationwide accessibility and usage, which will eventually help save the environment from further degradation by the use of firewood. I'll be joined by the uh, Executive Secretary of the uh, Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, but they've been making some projections, and I'll share with that uh, sh with you shortly. Uh, it says that the, there are indications that the pump retail prices of petrol, diesel, LPG will go up primarily due to further drop of the CD. And follow, the following shall be the projected mean retail prices for those products. Petrol will go up to 14 uh, CD, uh, 47 pesos per litre. Diesel, 15 CD. Uh, 21 pesos per litre and the mean price for petroleum and diesel will be 14 cities, 84 pesos. Then LPG will be 13, point, 13 cities, 9, 94 pesos uh, per kilogram and that's, that will be 14.5 kg LPG cylinder which is expected to be selling at 202 cities, 16 pesos within the window. I've been joined by Duncan Amwa. He is the Executive Secretary of COPEC. Grateful for your time. Let's have a further breakdown of what these uh, new pricing uh, will be in the next window. Kindly unmute for me, uh, uh, Duncan uh, Amwa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to your viewers, Aisha. Uh, if we do not have anything happening between today and Monday, uh, chances are that you will be paying about 9% more uh, on current prices per kilogram of LPG. Chances are that you'll be paying about 6% uh, more, almost 7% more, uh, on each liter of diesel uh, that you are buying today. Chances are that you'll be paying about 2% more on each liter of petrol uh, that you are paying for as of today, uh, Friday, the 28th day of June. Uh, these adjustments will be primarily due to the fact that uh, FOB prices for uh, petrol uh, has seen about a $12 jump over the window. Uh, for diesel, you are seeing about a $50 jump uh, on FOB over the window. Whilst LP... Can you unmute for me? See. I think we lost you. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Duncan Amwa. Uh, so you'll be seeing, you, you are seeing increases on FOB prices uh, within the period. And so, like I indicated, petrol has done about $12 a metric ton. Uh, diesel, you are seeing about $50 extra a metric ton. LPG, you are seeing about another $40 uh, um, over the period. Now, what we are saying is this. The CD also, if you take a look at what uh, the Chamber Bulk Oil Distribution uh, Company computations are per window, Last window, which is the current window uh, that we are about to phase out, the exchange was due was was computed around 14.9. Uh, as we speak, the seaboard exchange rate currently is around 15.50 to 15.55, which is about uh, <laughs> some 50 pesos between the past two weeks and the next window uh, we are about to enter. So, like I indicated. For LPG, you'll be seeing the biggest jump of almost 9% uh, effective Monday. Uh, for diesel, you'll be seeing about 6 to 7% effective Monday. Uh, whilst for petrol, you are likely to get about 2 Monday. You, you've made some demands on how government should mitigate the pain that these increments will cause. What, what are they? Uh, indeed, I have seen in, 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 in certain quarters where uh, some authorities or officials of state insist that petrol has... 
certain uh, that indeed we can maintain petrol at around 14, 15 uh, without necessarily increasing it for Ghanaians any further. Uh, one thing that government would need to pay attention to is the cost of LPG, which I have indicated earlier, is likely to surge by as much as 9% within this very window. If that is allowed to filter through, uh, LPG simply is going to go higher uh, for the ordinary pocket to bear. So government would need to be decelerating on the taxes and levies that we apply to these products. Unfortunately, the past one, two months has also seen levies and margins that we have applied to these products rather go up. Uh, not long ago, you saw UPPF having been adjusted by some five pesos uh, with the excuse that the fuel consumed by the security agencies would need to be paid for, and you and I are paying for it. Unfortunately, we seem to rather be adding uh, onto the levies, the margins, the backups uh, that we have on petroleum products. At the time that prices seem to be surging, we should rather be thinking of reducing them uh, to also contain the level of inflation uh, we have as far as petroleum products uh, and this impact on the economy is concerned. Thank you, I'm, I'm grateful for your time. He is the Executive Secretary of COPEC. Let's get on.